Hey everyone, Cloud here, and welcome to my guide on the Sea Slug Quest. Now, for this quest, the only requirements you need are level 30 fire making, uh, that is effectively it. And as for the items, the only thing you're going to need is some swamp paste, which you can buy from the Grand Exchange, or it's swamp tar made with flour, I believe. But I just buy it from the Grand Exchange, it's going to be so much easier. Uh, and that is literally it, so that is uh, all the requirements and items. Now, onto the quest starting point. So, we're currently at the R-Zone Lodestone, which can be found by the Lodestone Network. If you don't have this one unlocked and you want to unlock the other ones um, that are available, I have a guide which can be found in the description below, and I definitely recommend having full access to the Lodestone Network, or as near as uh, you can, um, just when you're completing quests, just to speed up and make it a bit easier getting around RuneScape. Um, anyways, from here we're going to head to uh, Witchhaven, uh, which is sort of south, east of where you are, and east of R-Dome, but if you follow where I'm going, you should find where you need to go, so I'll speak to you in a sec. Once you arrive in Witchhaven, talk to Caroline to start the quest. So after speaking to her, she'll tell you that her husband Kent, who works on the fishing uh, platform, and their son Kenneth um, have been out of contact with her for a while, and she's been very worried about them. Um, so you will offer your assistance to go to the fishing platform, and she'll tell you to go speak to a guy called Holgar, who can hopefully take you there. Um, Holgar is walking around near Caroline, uh, so just literally head over there and speak to him. Uh, you'll find out that his ship is in need of repairs, and he needs swamp paste in order to fix it. So this is what you need the yeah, swamp paste for. Uh, if you speak to him again, you'll automatically fix the boat and it will now be um, ready to travel to the fishing platform. So when you arrive on the fishing platform, you'll notice that the fishermen are acting very weird and you'll notice a lot of sea slugs about. As you go to pick one up, it will deal a bit of life um, points damage from you. If you head west of the platform to a small room, you'll see a guy called Bailey, who is the keeper of the fishing, uh, fishing platform, and you want to speak to him. After you finish speaking to him, go to the hut which is just north of Bailey and pick up some broken glass because you're going to need this for later on. Once you've done that, head to the northeast corner of the platform and you'll notice that there's some damp sticks near the ladder. Uh, pick these up as well as you're going to need these in a bit. And then once you've done that, climb up the ladder and head west past the crane and you'll find a room with Kenneth and you'll want to talk to Kenneth. Kenneth will tell you that his father Kent went to go and find help um, and he told Kenneth to hide in the room. Um, so now you're going to want to go find where Kent ended up. So if you now return to Holgar, um, you'll travel to where Kent was last rumoured to be. After speaking to Holgar, you'll end up on a small desert island where you'll find Kent. Uh, talk to Kent and he'll tell you about the sea slugs taking over the minds of the fishermen. Because of the situation, he wants you to help rescue Kenneth, so we're now going to head back. So if you speak to Holgar again, he'll take you back to the platform to rescue Kenneth. Once you arrive back on the platform, as you go to go up the ladder, a uh, slug controlled fisherman will smack you with it on the head and it'll deal a bit of damage um, and it won't allow you to go up. So you now need to go and speak to Bailey in the southwest corner of the platform and he'll tell you that the slugs are scared of um, the heat and gives you an unlit torch. Now you want to use the broken glass on the damp sticks to dry them in the sunlight and you'll make um, dry sticks and then choose the rub together option to light the torch. And with the lit torch in inventory you'll be able to climb up the ladder um, and the fisherman won't attack you. Go back upstairs and speak to Kenneth, he'll tell you that he's too scared to um, leave because of the fisherman and he wants you to find him another way out. So if you just go outside the house you'll see there's a badly repaired wall just near the, where the side Kenneth is. Um, you can kick it to break it down, um, speak to him again and he'll tell you he'll come out when you figure a way to get him downstairs. So where that crane is that you went past earlier, you want to go over to it and there's an option to rotate the crane and when you do this a little cutscene will take place of Kenneth being lowered onto the lower part of the platform into whole guard. Spoke. After Holgart returns from transporting Kenneth back to Witchhaven, speak to him and he'll take you back to the shore and then you want to return to Caroline to finish the quest. So after you've finished speaking to her, she'll thank you and it'll come up with congratulations you've completed the Sea Slug Quest, you're awarded 7,175 fishing experience, access to the fishing platform, oyster pearls, two treasure hunter keys and two hearts of ice. So yeah, a pretty easy quest and a very quick one to complete. Obviously the Oyster Pearls is crap reward, but the actual fishing experience is not too bad and that should knock you up a few levels. Also this quest is the start of the Sea Slug series and you get some quite decent rewards a bit further on uh, throughout it. So uh, this one uh, is a pain, but it gets out of the way for you to be able to unlock those more better rewards. 
I really doubt you'll run into any problems following this guide. However, if you do, leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll help you as best as I can. If not, thank you for watching. Please make sure you like, favorite, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to share with your friends. Cheers, guys. Bye.